I um, did um, stand up at a show recently where I told a joke about my friend who's a white guy who loves Japan so much. And afterwards, the host came up to me and was like, was that Alex? It, it wasn't. It might as well have been. It, it wasn't. I just love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the way to the east. The anime. I love reading the manga. I love the anime. <laughs> I want. I love to correct people's pronunciation on everyday words that the we anime? all use. Yeah, the anime. That's is a it, beautiful is that how you're supposed anime. To say it? Is it supposed to I have anime? no idea. I, it's just. I just said it like that because it's annoying. Jeremy, it's anime. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> wow. It's like Anna Karenina. Oh sure, yeah. yeah. Do you understand? And that's actually now? what she's. Her full name was anime. <laughs> Karenina. Anime. Karenina. I had no yeah. idea she was a Japanese drawing. Anime Chan. <laughs> She's not. That's what's crazy about it. <laughs> Who knows what happened? She invented anime. She's the sweetest bitch you'll ever meet. She was a cat girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to play the song and dance now. Okay. Here we go. Corey is back for another week in the dog pound <laughs> with Alex and Jeremy. I'm Alex. This is Jeremy. Arf, arf. Arf, arf, as well as welcome back in all of that jazz. We have such a guest for you this week. Many of you at home have heard of seeking arrangements. Well, <laughs> this guest kind of asks, what if those got a little bit more twisted? From mm. the Seeking Arrangements <laughs> broadcast, we have Hesa Denny. Hesa, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. Anytime. And now last time we had you on, we don't have many recurring guests yet so far, but you were you were the star of the live show. Yes. It was an honor and a pleasure. A place of honor. Uh, this is, I feel like, going to be very similar, but minus any shame you may like feel presenting like a crowd with deeply like perverted internet forums. Yeah, yeah it was... Uh, there were times when I read things at the live show, and I was like, oh, I should have... Oh, yeah. Examine that one before reading it, <laughs> before starting to read it. There's no way to use a computer to erase this from time. At yeah, the end. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, we exactly. will be doing today. It was yes. weird getting like real time feedback because usually we'll read something and I'll be like, people won't care about this. People were like, oh. Yeah, we like literally showed a guy like well, swimming with all his clothes on or whatever, and everyone in the audience was like, oh. That one was fine. That was, they should have manned up for that they one. They should have. Honestly. Yeah. Those are weird. <laughs> I'm be looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really t actually the problem is when you uh, look away from that one. That's my camera. <laughs> That's why I'm always looking right past you. <laughs> I I hate having them. I feel like I have to look into them. It's you so weird. You have to look at them. I don't know. I'm gonna be staring at mine the whole time. It takes way longer to edit. We talk about this all the time. But when you edit audio, you can like play video games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Surf the web. I sometimes I put it on fast motion. Oh, sometimes yeah. when I'm editing. Absolutely. I'm like, I think that's too dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna miss the subtle nuances of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's up there with uh, not changing anything and just slapping a song on it and being like, sure. "That was a conversation that happened. Put yeah. that out. <laughs> That's good." <laughs> um, well, enough shop talk here. Uh, we're gonna get right into the theme of the show. Now this is season three, so we do have themes. Uh, before this, though, we have a recurring segment. Oh yes. Don't we, Jeremy? We do. Our special segment at the beginning of every episode to attract more listeners. We have started doing Tips for Men, and uh, an exciting addition on this, the new segment, Tips for Women. <laughs> Tips for Women. Yeah, so we just just the tip, <laughs> just just the tip. You I should guess. add a, a female vocal at the end. Just just the tip. Wasn't long enough for you. <laughs> yeah, no, it should be at least two minutes long. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of feedback. The saxophone An is upright, only beginning. <laughs> upright bass should start playing and then do a whole solo. Uh, the, and then a woman goes, just the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> you know what? I do think it should still just be Alex, though. Just doing yeah, a yeah. voice. I do just all kinds tip. of voices. <laughs> I'm just very employable. <laughs> I'm just the tip. <laughs> boy, 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 boy. <laughs> I'm the professor, a new character in the song. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is our segment where we offer tips to women. Uh, it can be about anything in the whole world. If you don't have one, that's fine. But is there anything you would like to tell all women? Um, let me think. 
Can I have a minute to think about Please. it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Using magic, we can cut out any pause. Okay. <laughs> let me think. Let me think. Do you have any tips for women, Alex? Um. Yeah. It's uh, fake Gucci is for snakes. <laughs> <laughs> and we can all spot it. So put that down. <laughs> honey. Period. Period. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Invest in like a really a really nice jacket and shoes oh. and bags, and then you can like just use cheap clothes for the rest of an ensemble. And it's like then you can you can swap out easy easily, you know. And your jacket can be used for a lot of different types of looks. Also, those um, new commercials of like deodorant that you could put anywhere on your body. Have you noticed? That there's a new. I've only been putting deodorant on that one part of my body. Yeah, exactly. Like there's been new commercials for like women and men, like specialized ones. That's like you can put this on your junk too. Wow. Does your head yeah. stink? And I'm like, wait, did is this like some new evolution in the formula? Yeah. <laughs> or is it like we need to we need something new? Like we need to just tell them like put this wherever. I mean, yeah. without looking into it at all, it is definitely just like. People are buying less deal. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta get some fear in there. <laughs> I'd say don't put that, don't put that shit on your pussy because it's, yeah. gonna, it's gonna Do end up bad. It. Yeah, seems tip painful. for women. By Probably the mess way. with your pH balance or whatever. <laughs> don't put deodorant on your pussy. Yeah, stick or spray, <laughs> or cream. One. They make yeah. creams oh, now. Come on, it's, it's like so come, many get out of here. Yeah, no, that's it, not right. Yeah. Um, the smells are out of control. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we but we both had good tips there. Also, deodorant is like the number one way you give yourself cancer because they'll is have aluminum really? in them, really? and then people just yeah. I mean, a lot of them have a big label that says aluminum free on them, but it's just like a known carcinogen. Then you're just like covering inside of your arm with it every mm-hmm. day and being like That's shooting your lymph it node. You got a here. lymph node right there. Yeah, shooting it at the node. You can't hit the... I don't know what those do. Bro, my nose. But I think it's important. <laughs> they just get cancer. That's, uh, yeah. that's what they do. Yeah. They're bringing the team down, They're honestly. They're just a timer. <laughs> yeah. I have no space in my squad for nodes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm putting nodes on the bench for, this, for the whole season. Nodes can... Uh, they can take the Tom Brady path. Act like they've mm-hmm. been there before. Maybe learn a lesson before they get in the big game. <laughs> Absolutely. This is my only football fact, is that Tom Brady <laughs> sat on the bench for some period of time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sports podcast. Well, uh, that's enough of that. Uh, I hope women have learned something today and can act like they've been there before. But uh, <laughs> we're going to start going on Quora now, because that's what the show is. Uh, so we start the show by reading a Quora that we asked last week, and we end the show yes. by asking a new Quora. What did we ask last week, Jeremy? We asked, can you be racist towards ghosts? Oh, oh, right. And then we did, we batch recorded, right? So should we check the other one after, too? Yeah, but I don't think anyone answered it. That one sucked. Because no, the question was just, can you kill yourself with a baseball bat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I they, were, of... they were right not to answer I was hoping people would say yes or no, though. I, yeah. I don't know. Like, I think I'll answer it right now. Yeah, you can. I think you could. You can. You'd have to be unorthodox. You'd have to use strange methods probably some sort of rube goldberg machine to hit yeah. yourself in the head yeah yeah yeah. you'd have to attach it to a helicopter propeller that's going <laughs> at full speed yeah and then just stick your head in it yeah so you do need a helicopter for this <laughs> well it doesn't say can you use yes. just a baseball that's right. bat which you probably could also if you like put it like under your chin or something and then yeah. did like a weird you know, jumped off a balcony. <laughs> like, I'm you not... hold a baseball bat to your head and then you shoot it with a gun. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the baseball exactly. bat hits you hard enough. Uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say once you have the helicopter, you could put the bat on the ground, kind of dig it in the dirt there, and then jump out of the helicopter onto the bat head sure. first. That exactly, would be exactly exactly really good aim though. That's gonna give you the force you need, or be a bit uh, conventional with it and just slam yourself right in the dome. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no answers. So we will do the normal one. Then what do we ask after that? Can you be racist towards ghosts? Okay, this is more um, this is more of an open question to the community. Do we have any answers? Sure. Rodney Sweeney says, "I don't believe in ghosts. The Bible says once you die, you go north or south. But I do believe in demons impersonating people through ghosts or entities." No comment on the racist Interesting. aspect. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, man. What's he, what's hey, I would he if I could, brother. There was another question on there that he was trying to answer that was like, what does Rodney Sweeney think about ghosts? Uh, they were pulling up the page to get his exact address for you. He right lives now. in Virginia. 
<laughs> Single and, old man, work part time Christian veteran. Oh, you may have actually gone to school with him. He studied at Hard Knocks, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like most of the website. <laughs> <laughs> the school of Hard Knocks. I forgot about that. But it, his was kind of different because there wasn't a K in knock. So I like this though. This guy says, um, "Sure, what are they going to do about it?" That's a great answer to this. They're going to haunt you. Well, they're going to haunt the fuck out of you. Clearly. Oh, oh some some Irish ghost is going to come bother me <laughs> after I tell it it need not apply? Well, okay. If you're going to be racist to Irish ghosts, I feel like that's a yes. You can do that. I'm, you have to be careful at your uh, hypothetical racism <laughs> answers sure. I've found yeah, out yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go for the safe ones. <laughs> yeah. Need not haunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah italian ghosts have been through so much in this country um yeah. uh there's a picture what there's a picture here jeremy would you care to explain that it's just somebody it says of course there's a whole community of pe- group whole community group of ghosts complaining bitterly about ghosts always being shown using white sheets and not many using different colors like real ghosts and then someone in a floral like, like bed real ghosts sheet. i think they're doing a joke but they're in a, it's someone in a floral ghost bed sheet they appear to have had this ready, so I don't know if they're just putting the word ghost in Quora so okay. they can slam their pick up. This is a British person, if but that this helps. This is this is an interesting point. Ghosts, it, when you become a ghost, uh-huh. you in- immediately become like, is there a different class of races of like... I see what you mean. There's white that's like your bedsheet style ghost, and floral then there's print. like floral print, <laughs> and then there's like uh, gray, like Scooby-Doo, sure. like blue, yeah. like hologram ghost. Oh, like a force uh, ghost. Do you think that? They're yeah, 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 yeah. Force like, ghost. That's a rare. They both exist. Rare, a rare egg. Like the, the, <laughs> yeah. the Scooby Doo Harry Potter style ghost, and then just like a guy in a sheet. Yes, absolutely. I think every type of ghost exists. I think, um, <laughs> you know, Nicole Kidman, the others style ghosts wow. exist also. That it just like uh, the Grudge style ghosts. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's another race. Of I ghosts. do not want to come back as that one. Yeah, and they they are all beautiful. Ghosts are beautiful <laughs> ghosts at any are beautiful, size as absolutely. well. Absolutely. But I do hope I get to be the floral print yeah. kind uh, because their flowers yeah. are very beautiful. Absolutely, I be the blue one. The I blue, be the, the blue one. Oh. God, I can't get into this again with you, Alex. I want to deliver messages to Padawans. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Shut up. You don't. You uh, don't act like you've been there before. This is, a, <laughs> this is an uncharted realm of ghost behavior. If if Luke like fucked up and became evil, I wonder if like all those ghosts would have been there at the end, just shaking God their heads. Shaking Instead their of... heads. I would be the ghost who shows up and is like, "You fucked up." <laughs> what the fuck, man? Come You're on. In trouble. They were just younglings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like really come down hard on them. All the ghosts are so even ha- even handed and even keeled. Why when are the force ghosts gonna tell us how they really feel, you know? Mm-hmm. They're never they're like the opposite of a standard ghost and that with unfinished business is they show up and they're like, literally whatever you want to do is fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's up to you. I you have know. passed on, so there's functionally no difference <laughs> between me and uh the projection from that robot that's rolling around. <laughs> whatever happens, I'm getting ghost burger king out after this so like, yeah it's fine i gotta keep running from the youngling ghosts after this. <laughs> they're so angry oh fuck they're catching up they howl. <laughs> like it follows for anakin skywalker <laughs> on the forest ghost world. They're a bunch of little kids yeah you have to run that fast their, their legs are so small <laughs> yeah thank god he did it before they were fully trained thank god <laughs> it would be bad but they could be a handful mm-hmm. um so that is our question from last week if you must answer one of our core questions from the show please remember to use the words scrambled, scrambled eggs. eggs and that way we will know it is you and because of your code word that we told you to use and that you're on the team uh <laughs> were those guys part of the team or no 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 no, no. Oh, okay, i didn't okay. read the scrambled eggs one which maybe is bad behavior on my part maybe i should be reading well if it wasn't our... if it wasn't good enough to get your attention yeah, yeah, it's fine that's right i and feel like do better if you're the yeah. one who left it do you got to do better if, <laughs> if the premise of the podcast is that we are reading the people who are actually yeah. on quora then the people we bring to quora from twitter <laughs> are not like part of the mission statement yeah but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah it feels wrong it's mm-hmm. it's not right, and we got that guy who did a full picture dressed up as a ghost. I think yeah. that was good work. Yeah, yes, good work. Okay. It'd be cool if that was one of your listeners, though. It, that would be based, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so fucking. Light. That would flower sheet pill me for sure. <laughs> oh, this is brought to you by Flower Gang. Um, this week's theme is uh, we're we're heading back to a classic here. We're gonna cover a lot of ground that we've been to before, but in a new exciting way. This is the Defense Academy. 
killing spree. <laughs> okay, uh, again, the themes are not segments, so we don't have sounds for all of no, those. No, we don't. <laughs> but that one was fine because I chose to press it. Uh, what do we have for our first oh, segment? Oh, police quora's five quo. No. Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> this isn't real. It's Here's not a real... Thing. Police siren, if you're listening in a car, it's part of the podcast. It's all part of the Actually, as you're about to be pulled over, they know you're high. (laughs) (laughs) That would be so funny to just say to people. (laughs) They're aware. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) Um, So a lot of the ones today are going to be five quo because they they deal with the law. They deal with infractions. Can you explain to me what five quo is? Well, do you know five O... Yeah, the yeah, police. Okay, I understand. I understand. Well, this is five quo okay. for quora. The quo lease. The yeah. quo lease. And fuck them, and by the uh, way. Yeah. The quas. <laughs> <laughs> the quigs. That'd be so annoying if you had to say five quo all the time. Five quo, five quo. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. I feel like that as one of the most active quora communities, they probably say it. And Teenagers oh, sure. spray painting like five quo, five quo. Five quo. <laughs> can you can you get that off with vi- v- white vinegar? <laughs> like people jumping out and asking questions as they chase them down. <laughs> uh, anyway, this question is: If you get robbed at gunpoint by a teen girl and you're carrying, do you shoot her? This is kind of a remix on a class. Answer that right here. now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you unload a full clip, mm-hmm. and you got you gotta you yeah, know. You simply must. Yeah. Uh, women are strong. It's probably going to take more than a few bullets to take her down. <laughs> this is another uh, women's tip. Yeah. Uh, don't wear a bulletproof <laughs> vest, teen girls, if That's you're going to be robbing. <laughs> if you're going to be trying to rob someone. If you're going to rob a Quora user. Yeah, you a Quora come. user. You do because we haven't read the answers yet. It could go. <laughs> it could go either way. I can tell you just from having pulled up this question <laughs> that the answers are very similar to what we said in the room. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff you learn in the Defense Academy. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Be prepared. Leave no women alive. Um, this first answer is really funny from this guy, Stephen Young, who is an uh, avid shooter for over twenty five years. He says, "Oh wait, can I guess what his answer will be?" Please. Um, Listen, it's your right to defend yourself. <laughs> and if she made the decision to break the law, then <laughs> that is on her. And you yes. are you within your rights to fire because of castle doctrine or whatever. It, it doesn't that. start with that, but he does almost say that word okay, for okay, word. Okay, okay, okay. Now, did <laughs> you just say, just say that because he's an avid shooter for 25 years? Yeah, that's true. I It could have been like he's a craps player. Oh, uh, like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, maybe he's I'm just assuming. A straight shooter. Maybe I'm assuming that he's. <laughs> he's daring. He shoots his shot. He's a drug he's addict. <laughs> <laughs> He's a heroin user. He does say in his answer, if that girl's willing to threaten your life with deadly force, you better damn well believe she's willing to pull the trigger. So that's basically what you she's said. Willing. That's what you said. It's so funny to put in your brain, in your mind's like imagination of this scenario, the ridiculous scenario <laughs> of what I picture is like Regina George, George grabbing Queen B. Yeah, grabbing your <laughs> wallet and then hitting you with her purse a couple times. <laughs> And he's like picturing like get on the get on the fucking ground like a teenage girl. You don't like, know what's in that purse. That's true. And there's probably a gun in it. They do clarify it is at gunpoint. So this is Regina oh, George okay, on like okay. her hardest day. If it's at gunpoint, <laughs> that changes yes. everything. That it's, changes everything. It's gunpoint. a different reading of Mean Girls where Regina George is strapped the whole time. <laughs> well, if you're at gunpoint, I don't think you should try pulling a gun. <laughs> That's what I like. You about already this. lost. Yeah. <laughs> you already lost. You got to do a reversi on their ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're going for the gun at all, you have to shoot at that point because yeah. you've already like made sudden <laughs> jarring movements. Yeah. <towards laughs> <the gun. laughs> Um, just the beginning of this guy's answer, though, this guy, Stephen Young, he says very poetically, would a bullet from a teen girl not kill you just the same <laughs> as if it was fired by anyone else? I think Mark Twain said that. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. If one is shot by a teen girl, do they not bleed? <laughs> <laughs> um, also, someone said, I will do whatever seems necessary to defend my life. And if someone points a gun at me, I'm going to assume that my life is in danger. And then the guy who asked the question said, understood. Thank you. Oh, so, so these are updates He's in real in, time. He yeah. is at, in this scenario right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to kill her. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Before you shoot. Let me let me just go for my phone. I gotta just ask the community a few things. All right. Oh he lives in uh, Akron, Ohio, and his bio says in a relationship with my sister. And then oh, says, interesting. Been there, done that, still kicking. <laughs> 
<laughs> and done that to be clear is it's make love kill, to his sister yeah, and kill yeah. a uh, deep girl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they've done that. To rob him. Not all girls what are good fuck? like my sister. What is going on on this website? That is crazy. <laughs> This is like the normalist question we have today. I think. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, all right. We're still on this guy's page. Yeah, I'm sorry. He just asked, he's asked thousands of questions. <laughs> some of them. have done that. Still kicking. Still so, kicking. Some of them are very normal, and some of them feel weird. I mean, like, some of them are just forced. like. Yeah, some of them are just like, what is, would a steel door on a house stop law enforcement? Yeah. And then other ones are like, what is the best present an adult sister can give her adult brother on his birthday? <laughs> oh my God. It's not. He's for- asking that? What is. Yes. He doesn't know what he wants for his birthday. <laughs> so he's like, has to ask Cora. No, okay. The steel door thing is so funny because, like, when you say, st- when he says stop law enforcement, does he mean like they go home and give up? <laughs> like, that's the end. They're like, sorry. <laughs> we gotta. <laughs> Oh, Sorry for bothering in. you. We can't arrest you, I guess. He's yeah. answering more questions about fighting women, I'm seeing. <laughs> okay. He said, how would Star Wars... Would Star Wars have been better if Luke married Leia? Okay, so he's really sister So he pale. really is sister. Okay. He's yeah. out this here. First totally... of all, he's still kicking. Yeah, he's still kicking. <laughs> he's been there. And we do know that he has done that. <laughs> and he's, he's here for one door, purpose. So don't come. He's a steel door. Don't come knocking. You're going to get bored. <laughs> Especially if you're a teen girl. <laughs> in the police. Okay. It's it's so funny to ask a question that you because you know the answer in your mind is wrong, <laughs> and so you ask it just to be like maybe other people maybe I'm not wrong about. Is it this. cool if I kill this girl? <laughs> is that yeah. all right? But I my favorite part of uh, going to the profiles and it's not like the best entertainment, but they'll have a hundred questions that are just like if I made love to Kirby, how many eggs would he lead? <laughs> and, then, and then one that's just like. How much milk is bad for you? <laughs> <laughs> Can you die from drinking too much milk? <laughs> yeah. Uh, My like, wife, parentheses sister, says it's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I think. And should I, is it dangerous to drink her milk? <laughs> <laughs> can you get? Uh, can you do like some kind of genetic damage by drinking your sister's milk? <laughs> Uh, so is there anyone who says not to shoot the girl before we move on? <sighs> one guy is says, there even a single soul in the world? <laughs> one guy agrees with us that like you're not going to be able to. Like this guy Greg says, she got if I'm drawing on her and she already has her gun out, I'm probably going to lose that one. <laughs> if she can be distracted by something and I'm fast enough, well, then she is toast because, yes, I will shoot. I was trained to shoot high center mass, so I believe that she will not make it. And besides, women want equal treatment, right? Had to throw that in there. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> put that in. And then the guy Important. who asked the question again, Rick, said, "Yep, they do want equal rights." That's true. <laughs> Unrelated to this murder That's scenario. <laughs> That's good. My sister keeps telling me to open her cage. <laughs> <laughs> You come out of there, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. I shoot to kill. <laughs> she has a gun pointed at me from inside the cage. I'm just wondering what to do. I've been thinking about this unrelated to the, the podcast all week about like how if I was going to shoot somebody, the way I do it, under the arm. I pull the pistol under the arm. That way they Like Tom it. Cruise and collateral. Yeah, yeah. Because yes. then they're like, what's over there? Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Because it was under the arm. Yeah. That it was, I and into a mirror me. that's like there's a series of mirrors, <laughs> like trick mirrors. Yeah, if they do it through trick mirrors, it's pretty much over. It's over. You get me in a room with three or four trick mirrors, and I've got a gun, and you don't. <laughs> I never done, go to you're the done circus. For. You're yeah. done for. <laughs> it's not safe. I found one no oh. answer. Okay. Robert says, in concept, yes. In reality, no. In concept, <laughs> yes. I would love to shoot a girl. <laughs> But it seems like she might have the drop on me it in this says, scenario. Courts interpret the law however they want. Even if exonerated, you lose all your money. To who? <laughs> the girl. She's dead. <laughs> You're going to lose it either way, though, because she's robbing you. She yeah. was following my elbow. That's game. Well, and I you shot don't. her. These guys, maybe not, but hopefully you have money in a bank of some True. sort. True. <laughs> <laughs> it's all cash on me. Carrying every cent that you, all of your assets on your person at all times. I knew I shouldn't have left the house with my dollar bill and crusted oh, jacket. <laughs> I found a really good answer. This guy, Robert Freshour, says teenage girls have killed a lot of people, but I would not <laughs> wait to see if she wants to get rid of a witness to her crime sucks that she chose a risky occupation that's on her that is on her that's a good she point. should have specked into a different class honestly <laughs> she should have become a merchant a or sniper <laughs> yeah, a sniper much safer <laughs> farther away yeah, 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 yeah. some call it the coward's line of work but it yeah. is safer 
<laughs> if she was a ninja, this never would have happened. Mm-hmm. I would watch the Teen Girl American Sniper movie. That yeah. would be Remake. really interesting. It would be a new take on a classic. <laughs> American Sniper. Oh, all right. I'm oh, Hollywood? Gonna, yeah. Are those. you listening? Wow. They made it woke. <laughs> or ate hers. <laughs> Wait, that's us. Yeah, <laughs> is this which week is We're April first? I feel like that's the one that came uh, out before this. Unfortunately, no, April first? No, it's March. I know it's the end. Oh, of March. I see what you're saying. I this is coming saying. out in like two weeks. Oh, there's no way we can replace us with all female co-hosts, and then it's quarate hers for April Fools. For April Fools, it's quarate hers. We couldn't. Yes, it's oh, far too late for that. Well, you also just spoiled it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's double not going to happen. <laughs> so everybody, move on. You could pretend to be girls. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Pitch our voices. I'm up. shy. <laughs> I'm Alexa. I'm uh. Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> My girl persona is I'm shy. <laughs> I don't one. talk much. <laughs> Bad podcast. <but. laughs> Thanks for coming. What do you think of that, Alex? Oh, I don't want to say. Do you want me water? No, never mind. <laughs> Sorry for asking. You do have a gun the whole episode. <laughs> I do. I am armed. I'm pointing a gun at them. <laughs> Teenage girls have killed so many people. I know. I would. I was wondering if there was a link. It was up. It was hyperlinked. There's a source. source. Yeah. Study. <laughs> this isn't Wikipedia. <laughs> um. So this next question does bring us back to. I believe this is the same community we were on yes. two weeks ago, and that is street survival. Yes. Learn how to be safe and prepared no matter where you are in any city or slum. Okay, because often when I'm in a slum, I'm just thinking, this I'm wide open. I need quarators. A man on a motorcycle could get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Um, This question question? is, what can happen if my brother's friend tries to fight me in my own home? Will I get in trouble for beating him up or shooting him because he will probably be invited in by my family but will try to fight me while he's here? What can I legally do? Interesting. Does castle doctrine apply to brother's <laughs> friends? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. What you... kind of answer is, I have no answer for this one. <laughs> what I kind of like about this is it's implied like, everybody wants him to kick my ass, but I will <laughs> yeah, not have Everyone wants it. him to kick my ass. <laughs> and that we live in the same house, and they're inviting him in. <laughs> yeah. They think it's funny. Yeah. That's good brother. <laughs> He's always forcing my head through the stair banister and then kind of like playing it like the drums. I think you you're fucked. If your brother invites him in, Brothers you have to powerful. give him dinner and you have to yeah. not fight him. Well, but can you revoke his invitation? And, oh. But if the brother's standing there, so right when you revoke his invitation, right. the brother re-gives it. Yeah. You yeah. have to do it. You have to time it perfectly. It's like, true. I revoke, I revoke, I revoke you. you. <laughs> yeah. I've seen a hundred different scenarios and there's only one where this works. Yeah. <laughs> do you um, have any teen girls that you have access to? <laughs> uh, speaking of teen girls, the part of this question, it's kind of subtly thrown in there, so it's easy to miss, but it's, uh, will I get in trouble for beating him up or shooting him? Mm-hmm. So there's oh, a wait, part there's of this more. where you murder your brother's friend. There's yeah. more. We've been getting very lucky today with the question asker popping in because they throw a little microphone emoji next to him. So I know it's the the guy. This guy's name is Griffin Johnson. You know he's a true MC. What's his What's his occupation? Oh, let's see. It doesn't say. This he is his only no question info. ever on Quora. <laughs> so this is a real he thing. Died yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, he died attempting this. He died shortly is, after. The friend beat him up and then he deleted his account. because This he was is so literally two weeks ago. Oh, oh my God. No. So he says Griffin. it still happened. Griffin says, like I said, it's my brother's best friend and I owe him 20 bucks. And supposedly he's going to start a fight with me here in my own home. My no. family invites him in. So legally, if I beat him up or shoot him, what kind of trouble could I face if he comes and talks bad to me? Where my my kid and family is in my own... Wait, what? You have a kid in my own home? That's a real twist first. on this. $20? That's something. Just give him the $20. <laughs> I thought this was a child. <laughs> what I is assume. going on? With inflation, it's not even that much. Oh, really. I knew that. I got to say, I knew this was an adult. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought this was, was a child, child for some reason. I yeah. just something about the or shoot him. <laughs> I was like, this has got to be. This is a real guy who's going to try and actually do this. It's probably for the best if you shoot him rather than give him twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Does it say where he lives? Maybe we can Google his name oh. and his town to see if he shot the friend. Uh, unfortunately, no. Damn. I'd love to though. I'd love to look up local news. What'd you borrow yeah. the twenty dollars for? <laughs> what would you do with it? Yeah. Was it worth the murder? <laughs> do people act, do people comment like just give him back the $20? <laughs> like, you no don't want to mess with Drake, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm assuming he has a cool name like Drake. I wasn't thinking of the rapper. Yeah. <laughs> the rapper's not affiliated with this scenario at all. He actually is. He's the one who's coming over. <laughs> He's a rich baby daddy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, so many of these answers say you can kill him, and there's one that's like you shouldn't kill him; it's illegal. But that is locked behind Quora Plus, so uh, we can't read that one. Okay, <laughs> it's safe to assume Griffin does not have access to that either. Quora Plus is like the actual good answers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, you have to pay money if you want someone to tell you that you shouldn't murder. If you want the truth, you need some. You need to pay money for. Yeah. premium. and the billing's weird. It seems like it's charged per answer or whatever. It's okay, cool. Not clear. <laughs> we can give five dollars to know if we're fucked <laughs> um everyone's just like yeah you can shoot this yeah, guy kill his ass, if it's dog. your house <laughs> it's, it's self-defense kill. interesting <laughs> look you don't have 20 right now <laughs> look you don't have 20 dollars <laughs> you got robbed by a teenage girl at some point pretty much chipotle is like 20 dollars so uh <laughs> <laughs> you just if it's after lunch that money's spent brenda mm-hmm. says that just tell your brother he's not allowed in your house either so he's I just, think like, you kick could the even, brother out. You know, just cut out the middleman instead of going to court. Be like, hey, you can invite your friend over, but I'll kill him. I'll kill his ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to strike first and strike last. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't have $20. I do own a house. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, I think the owning a house part of it also made me assume they were children because I was like, adults yeah. don't own homes. You got to sell, sell your house to get $20. Oh, yeah. Sell yeah. your house to your friend. Houses are probably worth like several $20. $70 at least. At least 70 Yeah. yeah. It's gone up so much. I know. It's crazy. This city's out of control. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, there's an answer here that says... Uh, the exact same rules in the as in the street apply. You can be arrested in prison and he can kill you. Do and and do forth. Just because you're in your ho- own home means nothing these days. There was an expression that a man's home is his castle. Nowadays, that means nothing. You're just as likely to get punched in the face in front of your TV as you are in the doorway of the local shop. Oh, baby! <laughs> so the answer is to do forth. Street rules. And that's by Majin <laughs> Vegeta. And yeah. studies English. <laughs> I didn't even see that. He's, that was... <laughs> He's learning well, <laughs> judging by that answer. He's I Vegeta. Did not but realize that that was Vegeta. The wizard Bobbity's curse has reawakened his dark urges. <laughs> you, have to, you have to reread it in Vegeta's voice now. I think. <laughs> do forth. <laughs> Street rules do apply. You there can be killed in front of your own TV, clown. <laughs> A man's house is his castle. <laughs> Kakarot. <laughs> man's. This mantle may be colored by my prince background, but does anyone have a castle anymore? (laughs) Okay. Uh, I also like this one. What makes you so confident you are capable of beating him up? How many years of training do you have? Get his ass, dog. (laughs) You couldn't beat him up, dog. Oh, and he does answer. No, it's the same guy. Oh, maybe it's not the same guy. I don't is that know. two different people named Mike Weston? I don't fucking know. This what the fuck sucks. is going on? I miss Mike Vegeta. Weston and Mike Easton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like timeless beings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they come forth to ask important questions. Yeah. Let's do another question. This question is, should we legalize drunk driving? Okay, so this is a pretty basic one, but the answer is really powerful. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Just to chime in on it before we get there. I'm um, going to go ahead and say no. <laughs> we should not legalize it. It is risky. But go but, ahead. I want to hear. Uh, human rights are so <laughs> oppressed right now. Right? Yeah. I feel okay. like you should just, everybody should get to choose. You're starting to turn me around on everybody this. Everybody <laughs> should get to choose. Okay. It's your choice. If I'm you go see... slow, I don't really have a problem with it. You could also just raise the limit to a really high number as a compromise. Yeah. That actually does it's get into our hundred percent right like three. That, <laughs> that gets into this answer. One point zero. <laughs> Severe blood alcohol. Yeah, point two is the new limit. Yeah. You can only like when you're blind officially. You're no yeah. longer allowed to drive. You have no more blood. You don't have yeah. Alcohol. You're pickled. Yeah. If you're pickle Rick, if you look down, your body's a pickle. <laughs> you can no longer drive. Um, okay, so this guy, James Stewart, who's a Pontiac addict. Jimmy Stewart? Yeah, yeah it is Jimmy yeah. Stewart. You have to read it into Jimmy oh, Stewart God. voice now. No! I love cars! It's <laughs> <laughs> just Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> this is an old celebrity. I don't know what he sounds like. It's a hard one. 
One night, a long time ago, I have a uh, feeling. I don't know. I think I'm just thinking of a different guy. <laughs> no, you got it. It's a, it's a wonderful life. It's like, it's like this. Oh, uh, no. Uh, one night, a long time ago, out in Philly at a bar with the girl I was seeing at the time, I had to move my car into a different space in the gated bar parking lot to allow another vehicle to leave. I had only had a couple of fingers of my usual drinks, single malt scotch. This is Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> I'd only had a scotch. few fingers of my favorite drinks. I had a <laughs> single malt scotch. And <laughs> my car needed to roll forward approximately 10 feet into another parking space. I've driven 160 miles per hour plus on a racetrack. I've pulled my car out of a slide on an icy road at 60 This miles might not be hour. Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like something you would do. I was fucking a bitch <laughs> mid-drive. <laughs> I've got 160 on a closed circuit. It was very, it was very exciting. Exhilarating. Quite <laughs> scary, though. My, my lord. I'd been given a lethal poison where if my heart rate slowed, I would die. So I had to keep cranking. <laughs> crank one. Cr the original crank is Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> I had to kill a guy just for the thrill. They call it crank because you, you I, I have to keep cranking my heart like the front of a car when you're starting it. <laughs> so I fucked Amy Smart right there in the middle of the parade. <laughs> you know that crank was a remake. Was it really? No, no. no. It's a beautiful tale. <laughs> It's one of the oldest stories the ever 1930s told. 1930s film. See how easy it is to get me? <laughs> I totally believed you for a second. I was so ready. I just realized Kind of like the movie DOA, though, I guess. Oh. Sure. Classic film. Mm -hmm. um, I'm realizing how abs absurd it is that I have all these crank pulls because I watched it last year <laughs> on a rewatch. you got to watch the Billy Wilder I love version. Crank. <laughs> I love Crank. I haven't seen the second one. Is it good? It's amazing. It's even better than the first. Really? Even better than the it first. It has one of my favorite jokes ever in a movie. And you I don't want to spoil it. Wow. I'm gonna watch Crank 2, high yeah. voltage. <laughs> it's it's pretty racist though. <laughs> the first one, and I, I think I brought this up before on the show, but he pulls a taxi driver out of the car and just yells, Al Qaeda, and a mob <laughs> kills him. <laughs> it's like not related to anything. It's anti-Asian racism in the second one. So it is. It's it's a different type of racism, okay. but you'll it's it's pretty. I they, think he'd get away with that in court if he yeah, explained yeah, the situation. Yeah, yeah. That there was, Jason Statham. If they were ghosts, it might be yeah. different. <laughs> <laughs> it was a floral ghost, right? <laughs> um, Jason Statham does the crazy white boy move of like saying the n word to a black guy to keep his heart rate up at, at one point. <laughs> yeah. So there's like they get into sure. it in the first one. <laughs> Um, anyway, sorry, this guy's uh, racing around. <laughs> I pulled my yeah. car out of a slide on an icy road at 60 miles per hour, barely missing the highway barriers. During that 10 feet in a straight line in a mildly inebriated state, I was the most terrified I've ever been behind the wheel. One of my buddies had a portable breathalyzer gadget. He let me blow into it after my car was resecured. I wasn't even over the legal limit, according to his gadget. That was the last time I got behind the wheel within an hour of touching any alcohol. Inebriated driving should be should remain just as illegal as it is now and possibly be subject to even more enforcement than it already is. Twist ending on Corey. Okay, yeah, I really thought that guy was going to complain about getting yeah. arrested for doing that. Me too. Instead, it was more dangerous than going 160 miles an hour around a race. It kind of a woke answer. That yeah. is Jimmy Stewart. It is Jimmy Stewart. Just he lives two in fingers. Philly. You never want to. Don't do this. You can't drive <laughs> drunk. I, I, you really just can't. <laughs> the two fingers you had at the bar went right into your eyes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is like kind of a, a, a thrill file. He's a he's a danger seeker. Yeah, and he's a adrenaline junkie, if you will. He, he a Linux, Linux system administrator. Yeah. <laughs> okay, interesting. Good so maybe him. he might be lying about those other things that he's talking about. <laughs> I want my operating system to work my way. <laughs> His other answer is, I've never been in a car before in my life, but I do. <laughs> PC gamers rise up. <laughs> <laughs> all of his other questions are about computer stuff. Yeah, and Donald Trump. It's, it's all computers cool, and cool. Donald Trump. I got two interests. <laughs> Although he says he's a Republican. Is he pro or anti Donald Trump? He's a never Trump guy? I think he's a never Trump guy. Oh, Linux user spotted. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. This makes a lot of sense to me. He's a know. fascinating individual, and I love him. And we're in love. He says, look, he's a he's a like a, a a Second Amendment loving gun carrying Republican, but then he says that Donald Trump chooses to be orange in color, which is like the most Democrat Quora thing I've ever heard. Got his ass. 
Um, and yes, anyway. and as a casual reminder, it's not that kind of show. But whenever this comes up, and you're, if you're like a never Trump Republican guy, why don't you just be Democrat? They're just doing that. Over yeah, they got to switch team. Who cares? It's yeah, all the can... same shit. <laughs> um, yeah, Joe Biden kind of is like a never Trump Republican candidate. He yeah, did, he, can, he, he really likes is. to say that in speeches. He's like, well, this Republican Party is crazy, but I pretty much am one. I like that you call yeah. Trump the other guy. <laughs> that it's is so funny. Weird. The other guy. Well, I don't know. There's another guy. <laughs> <laughs> that man What's his name? The mirror? <laughs> it sounds like he has dementia when he says that. It makes me think he He's has He's like a hundred years. It is Jimmy Stewart. Again, yeah. it's... Yeah. There's a hat, man. He threw a rock through the White House window <laughs> and he told Jill one day they'd live there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, I can let's tell these are film question. references I'm not getting. That's from uh, It's a Wonderful Life. All right. Okay, we're this we're is, into the thick of it now. This is from Gang Stalking Worldwide. We get a lot of questions about gang stalking. I do not fully get what it is. Um, I can't tell if it's real. <laughs> Has it, do you have an opinion on gang stalking? I feel like this is. I think it. Alley. I think you you two are a part of my gang stalking group, so I don't want to <laughs> say oh, good. anything. I don't want to say anything because it could. You're yeah. going to report it back to all the other people that I saw that you installed on my route to the studio here. <laughs> Ganged up. Yeah. Alex's living room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The studio. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but um, no, gang stalking is not real. I don't think. I think it's just the cra- <laughs> crazy people. Unless it's like Scientology sending people with like after. Right, that's something. true. Um, my understanding is that it's like people who think that there's like a group of people who are like dedicated to ruining their lives. Yeah, there's like a CIA surveillance team of like literally like one thousand people. Yeah, and it's like that. It like with a budget of with an infinite budget that is dedicated to prot- like hiding in costumes and like hiding around your yeah. life. It's the costumes that go too far for me. That's yeah. not why I joined this gang. <laughs> no, but yeah. it's, a really, it's really good work for an actor if you can get it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they pay a lot. They pay a lot. <laughs> it's so hard to get a gig. It's <laughs> SAG. Yeah, that's true. And even just getting in the union, which is like its own gang. Yeah. Yeah. Can really push you. That's episode. how Brando, that's how Brando got started. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By doing a gang gang soccer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, this, this guy who keeps showing up at my work has such a great command of his voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lights up a room. Uh, gang stalking worldwide. This question is, uh, what is the best advice to expose my gang stalkers and find out who they are and how they, how deeply they have infiltrated my surroundings? And then it does end with an eye that cuts off. Yeah. So, um, uh oh, they the got them. The gang got them at that the point. The gang got them. them. They were like, this is how they're going to catch, <laughs> this is how they're going to expose us through Quora. We yeah. got to put it, put the kibosh on this. They saw them typing, was like, what's this question? End it now. End, End it, it now. now. <laughs> There's also something funny about like, you think being afraid that you're being stalked and then like putting your address on the internet, <laughs> full name. Yeah, this is Come where I work. Me. This is who I love. <laughs> this is it's who I sister. love. It's so funny. <laughs> Um, okay, well, this is a power... Of, the answer covers any of your gang's talking concerns. Okay. Mm-hmm. In a nutshell, and this is Jimmy Stewart, of course. Yeah. It's uh, the same person? <laughs> no, no. He has an okay, Indian okay. name this time, but it's Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> In a nutshell, your gang stalkers would be living nearby you and will... Uh, these are so hard to read. And will Jeremy? be working in shifts at extreme ends of your targeting. To expose them, take pictures of them and post it online. You can identify these people as they will be repeatedly sensitizing you to stimulus... Uh, such as coughing, talking loudly on cell phones, laughing profusely to make you feel anxious. Additionally, and more importantly, you can identify them by their tactics, such as cutting you off while driving, walking past you, honking horns, and turning on the blinkers of their cars. There will also be a lot of noise campaigns, doors banging, people shouting, and trying to make you anxious to scare you. So this is a huge gang. This is clearly just someone. No, it's it's thousands anxiety. of people. Yeah, this is like an Ohio versus everybody situation. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Everyone who cuts you off in a car is part of a noise campaign. <laughs> um, obviously exactly. these are people who just like need help, but it's very yeah. like narcissistic yeah. to be like. You're gonna need a lot of help to overcome that whole gang. Just try to because take I me think down. like because the thing is like if someone passes you on the street, then they're gang stalking you. Yeah, but if someone is following, it doesn't pass you. 
that also is gang stalking. Yeah, everything. Like They're no one can back. be, no one is yeah. allowed to be on the street with you at the same time. <laughs> They're tailing you at that point. Um, but I do really like the advice of take pictures of everyone and post them on the internet. Like yeah, you know, their Facebook page is just like pictures of strangers all the time. I keep seeing this barista in my local Starbucks <laughs> <laughs> every day. You think that's a coincidence? Do you think she's on a cough campaign to yeah. desensitize me to coughs? Government's getting lazy. <laughs> Um, this keeps going. Yeah, that's uh, paragraph one of three. <laughs> okay, okay, cool, 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 good. Uh, overall, it's a government program of population control. Uh, that's, of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> these gang stalkers will be used as proxies of the government to control you by first breaking you down, and once they have you in total control, to use you and make money off you as well as sustain this in long run. They want you to fear them. And if you are smart as well, they want to recruit you and make money off you too to pursue the overall agenda of having a population control mechanism in place. Hence, this creates a chain where overall groups of handlers are used across different states to have a population control mechanism in place with the blessings of the government in the background. Oh, no! I don't know okay. what any of that means. Well, hang on. If you're say- if they're saying that, like by being gang stalked, you have an opportunity to climb the ladder and become a <laughs> gang stalker yourself. I think you should go for that. Oh, yeah. That's right? a good gig. Get, yeah, you get like probably steady pay. Yeah. You know, maybe you could climb, you could get <sighs> get a few hand, get a few gang stalkers below you that what? you're supervising. Once you're in a gang, it's all about respect. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's and the if, government. If you get to the top, you're the dawn. <laughs> Absolutely. And people got to bow down to that. You could be the king stalker. <laughs> you Can you go stalker. from being socked to the stalker? That's what they're saying. I in think this. so, right? you, They're saying you can get recruited. They they wipe your brain to the point where now you're going to get hired to be gang stalking someone else. Because, you know, like Jason Bourne was getting gang stalked for all those movies and they kept trying to recruit him right. and he was like, I'm not interested. You'd be so good yeah. at it, Jason. <laughs> we can so, tell you. You used to be our best guy. <laughs> you were the, <laughs> you the stalker. Yeah. You were the Dawn of the CIA. <laughs> yeah, you were the Dawn Diva. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of a breakup movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind he breaks of. up with the CIA. Yeah. yeah. You were our best guy. We yeah. loved you. So needy, CIA. <laughs> Trying to activate my switch. <laughs> mm-hmm. I won't do it anymore. <laughs> I yeah. love the mall. I don't really know what he. It, it's kind of unclear what he wants to do when he He's leaves. He's in Europe the whole yeah, time. Yeah. I think he likes Europe. I love the West. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've, we've come so far. <laughs> It's those statues. Mwah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want to read the? It's okay if you don't want to read the last paragraph. It does it keep getting good. I don't know. <laughs> the younger generation <laughs> is already indoctrinated to this program. Those yeah! of its existence till now have either deliberately been isolated from this in the past, as they themselves were targets to begin with, or will be at a future point in time indoctrinated into this program. It's a concept of a police state answerable to the supreme authority akin to a communist state with the hypocrisy of democracy in the forefront. If you're unaware of the program and are being uh, harassed and tortured and are still able to function properly, the military arms or its related organizations will use microwave weapons and infrasound weapons to cause you pain, raise your heartbeat, and to induce a natural death over time. The idea that you either bow down to the gang stalkers or you bow down to the microwaves and or... Or a combination, combination of, of both. both will be used to torture you till you die of what seems to be a natural death. <laughs> Hello to legalized government execution of its own citizens in the, in the disguise of population control. The end. So I don't know how you're supposed to say that last line. Is it like, hello to legalized government yeah. execution of its own Y'all, like let's, let's sound off in the comments. Are you team government or team microwave? <laughs> <laughs> Which Lock in your answers now. I think microwave sounds good. Microwave gang. Yeah. <laughs> that's Fry really me. cool. Yeah. It's like skibbity toilet. It's a bunch of guys with microwaves for heads. <laughs> uh, this is probably the most attention this person has ever gotten in their life. Just us reading it word for word on our podcast. I don't yeah. know. It sounds like a whole gang we is are paying a... attention to them every yeah. day. That's true. And it's our listeners. Are there any gang stalking-esque comments on that? On these? Um, on either of these? There's no comments on that. That comment. I do like the shout out to communism. Like it's somewhat Orwellian how much this gang is stalking me. Yeah, <laughs> it's somewhat Big Brother mode how what they're is this? watching Animal me sleep. Farm. What is this? 1984. <laughs> Homage to me, more mm-hmm. like. <laughs> I can't tell if this guy's doing a joke or not because I, mean, I assume it's a joke. Some guy says, "Check in your garden for caterpillars." 
some of these caterpillars are actually working for the FBI. If you look at them really carefully, they have tiny cameras replacing their eyes. And at night, they come through your window and take photos of you. Then they shit in your coffee. Is that a joke or is that? I think this person's making light of this situation. Okay. Yeah. Because I really don't know with some and of the gang stalking people who are like, if someone walks by me on the street, then they're probably the CIA. Right. Yeah. But, and if you're listening and you're getting gang stalked, we are not making light of your situation because that is real. But this person, yeah. we have a lot of doubts about. And mm -hmm. if you're a gang stalker, if you can get thousands of more people to listen to our show, yes. that would be great. Get your gang to listen. Yeah. yeah. Get, get them to ring that bell as the, well. If the uh -huh. CIA could drop a uh, iTunes review for Quarators. Jeremy mm -hmm. loves those. We don't know if they do anything, <laughs> but we love reading. And then how much he likes them, I've started reading them. <laughs> I think they help. I don't know. Don't leave a mean one. <laughs> no. As, 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 exercise control of your gang. Leave nice ones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just on the gang stalking world, worldwide. Oh, there's a meme. There's a lot of people are sharing meme. memes about being gang stalked. Is Tom Cruise yelling on the phone? I don't know what's going on. It says, show me the money, and then money is crossed out, and it says TSDB list. Show me the TSDB list, says Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm TSDB. Uh, targeted stalking. sexual. D uh, targeted sexual. D Database? Drake, Drake. Terrorist watch. <laughs> it's the terrorist watch list. Oh. oh okay. okay. What? Maybe all these people are just like wanted terrorists. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like they're like the head of Al Qaeda in Pakistan. They're yeah. like, it feels like they're watching <laughs> the me. The CIA is obsessed yeah. with me. <laughs> they're always trying to shoot me with a drone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is fair. Maybe they're Whatever, just like crazy. Yeah, maybe they're like it's like <laughs> Ernest Hemingway when he was like the CIA is following me and everyone was like this this guy. This guy. And then it turns out years later they were like we were sorry. <laughs> it's like some left wing leader in Latin America posting to Quora. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like the CIA is like Those all are his advisors. My shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We should see if like Gustavo Petro's on Quora. Incidentally, <laughs> I'd love to like get a world leader on. Oh yeah, I'd love that. Javier Millet. <laughs> what are your favorite spaces? <laughs> what do you think about gang stalking? Would you um, shoot this girl? <laughs> Would you shoot a teenage girl? <laughs> this is a good question on the gang stalking worldwide, Quora. Uh, why have the gang stalkers never done anything directly to me? I've never even seen them. But That's I feel a really everything. good question. You're on the right track asking yeah. that question. I'll say. <laughs> Keep following the rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why? Why don't gangs? Why don't I ever see any gang stalkers around me? <laughs> <laughs> Am I not pretty enough? They are a subtle gang. The final part of that question is uh, is this? But I feel everything that uh, they have touched around me. But no one will say a word. How can they be this stealthy? How can they be this stealthy? But yeah, the people are like, that's how they go. That's how they work. <laughs> that's They're how good. What can what I say? What do you want me to tell you? They went to school for it for <laughs> six years. <laughs> they had their a, job. Yeah. They had a residency at the at the gang stalking, at a gang stalking institute. <laughs> then oh, they became fully licensed doctors of gang stalking. Their gang stalking GPA have a, had to be above 3.5. Yeah. Like really impressive stuff. You have to have a PhD in gang stalking. <laughs> Extra like curriculars. On your gang stalking application, they want to see that you've been gang stalking outside <laughs> of school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They to see that you've been doing stock like activities. If you've uh, started a firm of some kind, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. you stock a little bit. An internship. Uh, this answer is very funny. Th this guy, basically, this argument is that um, the reason that this is happening uh, is because they're trying to get you to kill yourself. Oh, then me? he says, um, he says, if you watch porn in the privacy of your own home, they will increase the visibility stalking every time you go outside after finishing watching porn until you get scared of watching porn. All of that is before you realize what's going on. Then they want you to be clueless and petrified. How they get people to turn on you for watching porn? They will bombard your phone with gay porn if you're straight. <laughs> They'll have your phone full of tranny porn. If you're mistakenly watching one of their stuff unknowingly, every time you go to your phone, there'll be tons of gay porn. <laughs> I feel like that's one of the things they will send to your potential future girlfriend to make you look like a perv or gay. No offense to gay people. <laughs> it's not about that. It's about the gang trying to kill me. <laughs> trying to turn you gay. It's so good. This is so cool. <laughs> it's so cool because this is like, it's literally the embodiment of my friend. Um, one of my friends uh, named Spencer has this joke where Whenever someone, if if you like show up at a party, he'll like pull, he'll like angrily pull you aside and be like, did you jack off before this? 
<laughs> like that this guy thinks that's happening to him every time he goes outside. <laughs> People they know I just checked off. Everyone knows. I really like Babe, the no. <laughs> it's the government. <laughs> and I'm not gay. <laughs> that was my job. I used to work for the government. My job was sending people's girlfriends the gay yeah. porn. I yeah, 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 yeah. So I was suspicious. The gay porn <laughs> I sent it to the because I'm like, what is happening on his phone that he like pulls it out and looks at it, and is it just like hundreds of pop ups of like cocks instead of a lock screen? Yeah. Or is Hold on, like, I gotta check this. He just has like a somehow he has like a, a phone with like. Windows 98 operating system, <laughs> and it's like all these pop ups, like old school pop ups popping up all and the time. You know what they do? The government they wait for you to jack off to straight yeah. porn, and then right before you come, they show they they take a they they turn your the camera, camera yeah. on and they put a bunch of gay porn, and then it's you coming to gay porn, and yeah. Then they're like, Wow, wow, yeah, somebody's yeah. in love with this kind guy. of sus <laughs> walking down the street after watching porn, and everyone that you walk by is like. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Gross. Uh, no offense to the gay people, though. No, it's yeah, no, not offense, about no, offense, no offense. <laughs> it's the government. The trans people, the trannies, he never apologized to that. No, no. He, did not. he does mean us offense. I think, well, he felt like he had to cover his bases after mentioning how much gay porn he specifically gets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he lives in New York City. We oh, gotta have him oh. on. I, I love it when they're like a mile away from here. It, me too. Me too. <laughs> That's my alt, actually. Oh, <laughs> I man. was going to say something earlier. <laughs> Just going outside mentioning how he's watching gay porn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's enough of that guy. That's Vio enough. is his name. Vio, if you're out there, keep We're on watching trucking. You. We're going to get you. <laughs> We're watching you. We're going to get you. <laughs> We're coming. Yeah, and you're coming. You and it's, it. uh, we just told your girlfriend about it. <laughs> Looking at the <laughs> camera. <laughs> All right, we have time for a, a, a one of our other segments. Yeah, here. which one of these do you want to do, Alex? Do you have a specific one? But hit Cora MD first okay, of all. Okay, they're all in Cora MD. So I let's... really like this last one. Welcome to the doctor's office. Take a seat on our chair. There's a sheet on the chair. Uh, this question is: Would you allow your okay. wife to get pregnant to another man? Huh. That's a good I've never question. thought about That's that. That's a good question. <laughs> My this friend. is like I love the I love the questions that are like James Lipton is on there interviewing everyone, <laughs> like it's the actor's studio. <laughs> He's interviewing like uh, Mike Johnson from Akron, Ohio, <laughs> who's a uh, a pipe fitter <laughs> on the actor's studio. Like, what are you? If when you arrive at the pearly gates, what do you want God to say? <laughs> now, your wife is very beautiful. It's a young, I haven't told you that. <laughs> young Bradley Cooper like raising his yeah. hand in the audience in the audience nodding uh, like would you his... let your wife get pregnant by another man huh. I, uh, I'm a young actor trying to learn his craft <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your wife James Lipton would you let your wife become pregnant I'm another man. Um, this is one of the most important lessons in the Defense Academy, too, which uh, is the theme yeah. of this episode. Oh, <laughs> right. Defend we your wife. Defend her from <laughs> seed. Yeah. yeah, another man's seed. <laughs> now, we are assuming, of course, this isn't like uh, like you're infertile and using science. No. I don't think we're pregnant. assuming that at all. Yeah, right. Um, mm. I'm assuming that this is like letting the homies ride. Sure. Yeah. I think it's either or, honestly. Right. I don't think these people who are responding to this on Quora will be drawing a distinction. Right. I think either way. It's a question that's not going to elicit a strong response, I feel. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to see how it goes. Yeah. Um, I'm I, sure these guys won't be <laughs> really mad about this question. <laughs> <laughs> My first impulse is no. I remember. I many. feel like just because we are already married within the church and everything, that that's kind of like my thing. I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I guess no, if somebody yeah, else has yeah, to. Yeah. I I don't know why this is coming to me, but I I remember many years ago reading something. I cannot imagine this is true. That claimed that penises have a head so that they can pull out cum, the cum of your competitor from a vagina. No, that's true. I know that for a fact. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, It's a great theory. That's why it has like uh, those lizard things from the lizard that spits acid on uh, in Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. We all have those, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lizard flaps. Yeah, that's why. That's yeah, the whole point yeah, of yeah. it. Yeah. The lizard flap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all know what you mean. <laughs> so that, yeah, so yeah, that yeah, your, exactly. your wife can't get pregnant to another man. So you get the last laugh. Yeah, you use your flaps. Use your flaps in there. Fellas, use your flaps. 
They're ribbed for her pleasure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I, I, this is a very, very long answer over here, but this guy is just, <laughs> Oh my God. I just like this first. First of all. <laughs> just the first sentence. Everyone is free to have their own desire, dream, opinion, and should not be judged for it. They, also, also, opening every answer like that. <laughs> It's important that we get in front of the username, which is hot now. Hot now. <laughs> People are not happy about this. They say you can't. You that's, shouldn't do it. That's my uh, hot. Hot now is like an early two thousand. It's like a two thousands <laughs> era Sirius XM radio show. Yeah, that's it like sounds horrible. good. Yeah, it's, it plays a lot of the killers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hot now. Um, Panic at the disco. I've noticed, and this is, I don't know how much radio has changed too much. I do listen to it when I'm, like, moving my car sometimes, but... Uh, when you're the, pulling your car 10 feet ahead after having a few fingers <laughs> of drinks. Right, and then I get scared and I yeah, say, yeah, never yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Um, radio stations used to say when I was growing up, they go, the 70s, 80s, 90s, and now. And I've heard them still say that. And it's like, there's 20 years missing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what about that whole interstitial period? <laughs> Um, there's a very disgusting answer. Do you guys want me to read this? Yes. Yes. Please. You have to. Listener. That's my know. wife. All right. <laughs> Sometimes people don't want to hear it. Uh, Stoney says, we've had many men join us over the years, all of them unloading their cum as deep in her as they could. Our only birth control is me eating cum out of her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I did not eat all of the cum out of her pussy five times because we only have five kids. She got pregnant twice by other guys, three times by me. I love them all the same. That's a, wait, okay. Don't eat your own cum out of your wife because that's like you're st- you're supposed to do that to the competition only. Yes, yes. You yes. know you have to use your lizard flap. But it seems like he's. It seems like he is half-assing it when he's eating the cum out of his wife when it's his. <laughs> because it's three times it's been him. Yeah, well, yeah. maybe he's just full. Yeah. You know, it does imply, like, I just couldn't have any more cum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so honey. much Daddy in there. Is full. Uh, I had a big lunch today at work. You ever sit your kids down and explain your system to them? <laughs> Imagine being <laughs> that guy's kid and finding this answer. <laughs> well, you know how on Fridays, Dad's whole football team comes over? <laughs> Dad. Was I born, Daddy? Well, Daddy couldn't eat that much cum that night. <laughs> Daddy was full. He looked like pregnant Sonic from all the cum inside. <laughs> Daddy's jaw was hurting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cum he was chewing. Um, this keeps going, by God the way. Damn it. He says, when you both choose to let other guys come in your wife, usually a big part of the reason is you both want her to get pregnant. It's okay for you both to admit that. No one but you two will know who the father is. To be honest, it really doesn't matter. All that matters is keeping your wife's pussy filled with the cum of as many men as both of you want. All that matters is keeping your wife's pussy filled with the cum. (laughs) Yeah. And I have that that. over my door. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy has a great attitude. I think he's he's so positive. He's a cool guy. Two of my kids are some other guys. (laughs) I love them even more than the normal ones. (laughs) Does he say his job? It'd be funny if his job was really specific, like CEO of Bank of America or something. Um, Linux software engineer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, this guy has very little info about his life. He's just stony. Okay. Hey, he's just stony. And And um, that he is. We know he's an atheist. Almost all of his answers are about atheism. Mm -hmm. If God was real, he would stop me from doing this shit. He would stop me. If God was real, he would strike the tip of my penis with a little lightning to to put me out of commission. (laughs) To keep me from raking it out. (laughs) Making it easier to eat. (laughs) He also, I can't figure out what his opinion is, but he has also answered a question about Israel, which I just find fascinating. Oh, no. oh my God. Stony. <laughs> Stony. It's kind of interesting. Why what is it... Israel if not a woman who has been cum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta scrape but... the cum out of it. <laughs> Get all those, the IDF breeding programs shut them down. <laughs> I don't Shut th- those down. I don't think we need to explain any more what that means. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> we yeah. all Let's get move it. On. Let's move on. Um, anyway, good for you, Stony. Keep hey. eating that cum out there. You have a happy family, and we're all jealous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, what Wait a second. Says, That's my dad's picture. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Jeremy, it's a picture of you on the page. <laughs> uh, so what Dave Jeb Jebster said, you are a lucky man. And Stoney said, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Can we follow Stoney? He's like pretty. Absolutely, we can. Amazing. He, 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 he recently posted as of February 13th. So he's okay. on there. What did he say? Um, someone asked about atheism and he gave a lengthy answer about, uh, his belief as an atheist. Okay. As an atheist, it's my right to eat the cum out of the pussy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about this guy for the rest of my life, I think. <laughs> um, that's, should we do any more questions, Alex? I feel like I have or? nothing left to add to yeah. the world <laughs> after that, honestly. Um, do we have a question we want to ask, Quora? I am exhausted. Um, okay, so thank you for listening to our Defense uh, Academy episode, Right, this was Defense Academy. Yes, Defense um, Academy. I'm trying to think of a question that we could ask. Oh, maybe we put a flip mode on it and we go like, what's a situation where you're, someone has you at gunpoint, but you don't shoot them? Okay. Yeah. What if a baby, what if a Christian baby had you at gunpoint? Sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do that. Uh, okay. Let's do it. Yeah. What that's always do? a hit on here. What Although <laughs> Quora is exhausted about it. Like the people who respond <laughs> to the Christian baby questions are like, you're giving us all a bad name. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it going. What if a Christian baby had you at gunpoint robbing you? Would you shoot it? (laughs) (laughs) You have to do something about uh, revoking uh, your atheism in there. Type that up. Get back to us. We're going to play us out here. Tessa, thank you so much for coming back to the studio. Thank you for having me. It's been a defenseful time having you here. Where can our listeners find you? And stay away from that camera. Where can our <laughs> listeners find you at home and abroad? Wait, real, real quick. I'm going to tag Stoney in this question. Okay, okay yeah, that's sure. good. That's good. Um... So uh, you can find me on Twitter at Zero Suit Camus, uh, a.k.a. Clear Penis. Um, I'm also, you can listen to my podcast, Seeking Derangements, and my other podcast, Movie Mindset, which is part of Chapo Trap House, if you want to subscribe to that as well. And hear some some movie talk. We're doing some movies this year. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Yep. You're doing a live show, right? Uh, yes, we're doing a live show in May. Um, Spring and, has sprung. And if you're in LA, um, go to my podcast co-host Jacques live show, Show Pig, which is um, on uh, May or April 4th. Um, in So you can check the Seeking Derangements Twitter for more info on that or Instagram. We, we might be too late for that. It may oh, be okay, too okay. late. <laughs> and I That's hope fine. you went to Show Pig and I hope you were <laughs> yeah. squealing. With <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So thank you for doing that. Uh, if you'd like more of our show, we have bonus episodes every Thursday on Patreon where we go on other websites like Reddit, Twitter.com, Instagram.com, all of your favorites. <laughs> um, Jeremy, what was the final question? Oh, I closed Did it. Did you close it? It was the Christian baby. What, 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 yeah, what, you'll what, see next week. It's, uh, what would you do if a Christian baby held you at gunpoint robbing you? Would you shoot it? Okay, that's very direct <laughs> and, uh, and clear. And hopefully Stoney will chime in. Yeah. He's an atheist, so he might. Yeah. He might have to. Yeah, he might just like kind of give us big ups for that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good question. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> No, he seems like a pro-life guy. He seems like a. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to help. A, I don't want to. I wonder if he. <laughs> By yeah. pro-life, I don't mean abortion. I mean sure. He definitely loves doesn't life. believe it like life as sperm because he's eating those. Yeah, he's gobbling yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if anyone yeah, does, yeah, yeah. but he doesn't. Yeah, he definitely doesn't. <laughs> Stony does not. Okay. <laughs> well, the show is over. Now. <laughs> All right, I'm pressing end. <laughs> Keep it going. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.